Good morning everyone. You might notice that I'm having my mask because I'm doing the recording inside my office. It's been very busy this past um, week, but I'm again, I'm sharing this um, lesson or bar guide for those, uh, especially for those who are taking the bar examinations this November and also for those who are um, re reviewing for the bar examinations or I mean for those in the review classes now I apologize if the background is not that um, silent or it's noisy a bit because my office is near the main road now we go to our um, lesson it's one it's a continuation of our comprehension tips and one way to have better comprehension is to simplify what is being referred to is simplify the things you are reading and simplify the laws principles and um, concepts so that you will have better understanding now there are ways to simplify by using a dictionary such that based on the definition definition is being clear now you have another tip which I will tackle later is to create a story then another one would be association but today we will focus on the use of dictionary now there are two types of dictionary i think you know that already the legal and the ordinary one the legal i have my own um, black's law dictionary the same was bought by my brother-in-law back in 20, uh, 2009 um, he personally hand carried it um, so that i can have it before I start my first day of law school and it's still with me I have the eighth um, edition now to me it's really worth the price although it's pricey it's more than I think it's more than 10,000 pesos at that time because there's no bookstore in the Philippines that um, sell uh, sells that so another also you can also try the Miriam law dictionary you can have it in the, any bookstore in the philippines and you can also have the ordinary because there could be words that are not familiar to you especially for those um, who are not bookworms or who are not into um, the english language especially um, for those uh, i really notice engineering students and even um, criminology graduates really have difficulty um, understanding although I'm not generalizing but that's what I noticed based on my students so you can have either the legal or the ordinary dictionary but if you don't want the printed one actually you can just um, search the internet um, whatever words legal words or ordinary words or non-legal words that you might have difficulty understanding now the good thing about the online sources is that you will um, you will know the pronunciation you have an opportunity to listen to the pronunciation especially for non-english words just like the principle of non Um that's um, a concept in public international law now thank you for, i thank you for listening and i thank those people who followed and liked our facebook page and um, Lex Classroom has been um, almost one year since it's launching last year and since you know we launched because of the pandemic. I also thank our more than 1,700 subscribers in our YouTube account and please hit the notification bell so that you will be notified. And again, our work in progress is our Lex Classroom website. Please bear with it because it's still in its uh, embryonic stage. I thank you so much and um, have a happy day ahead thank you thank you